As a Blender user, you probably need add-ons that focus on solving specific modeling challenges in a simple and effective way. That's why I recommend the add-ons of Mark Kingsnorth. These tools streamline tasks like cleaning geometry, aligning objects to curved surfaces, and adding intricate details to designs, whether it be hard surface, sci-fi designs, and more. But before we continue, I want to remind you guys that we are going through the Black Friday to Cyber Monday sale. So this is a great opportunity to get yourself some of the best add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Especially on the Blender market, because they are having a big discount of up to 30%. And other developers, even more than that. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the top Blender add-ons and courses that you will ever need. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. We're gonna start with one of the most recent add-ons that is called Analyze Mesh. And this one is a free add-on that helps you keep your models optimized by pointing out issues you might not notice. It checks for things like angons, edge poles, and uneven topology. Things that could cause problems later on, especially if you're working on animations or highly detailed renders. The cool part is that it works in both object and edit modes, which gives you some flexibility, I think. In object mode, it factors in many modifiers that you have, so you get an idea of how the final mesh will look like. In the edit mode, it's focused purely on the base geometry, which is great when you need to make detailed adjustments. You can even click on the problematic areas and you can do that directly in the report, which saves you time of searching manually. I find it to be a solid tool for speeding up the cleanup process, and it works alongside Blender's native tools, making things easier without replacing anything. Once you've got your mesh cleaned up, QuadMaker comes in to help with retopology. As you may know, retopology can be a real chore, especially with high poly models from sculpting. And this add-on called QuadMaker can simplify the process by focusing on creating clean and quad-based topology, which is the standard if you don't know that, especially for animations. The interesting thing is the hotkey-driven system. So with a few shortcuts, you can quickly add vertices, fill and draw quads, in addition to extending edges and smoothing vertices. So generally speaking, this makes the topology process less tedious. For me, it is a nice tool to have, especially when working on sculpted models, where you need to convert messy geometry into usable animation-ready topology. While it doesn't replace Blender's native topology tools, it complements them well by making the whole process faster and more intuitive. After retopology, you might need to add some surface details with Conform Object, which is a solid tool for doing so. It helps you project one object onto another surface making it useful for things like aligning text to a curved wall or adding details to hard surface or sci-fi stuff like spaceships, weapons, and so on. One feature I find particularly handy is the gradient projection, which lets you control how much the project conforms to a surface. This makes it easy to add details like logos or patterns without distorting the geometry. The non-destructive workflow also means you can keep tweaking things as you go without permanently altering the geometry, and it works great with both mechanical and organic designs. Though you might need to experiment a little bit more with organic shapes to get the best results. Another interesting add-on that I like from the developer is called Perspective Plotter, which offers a practical way to match Blender's cameras to 2D references like photos or sketches. This is particularly useful for tasks like modeling 3D objects based on existing designs and aligning elements to fit into photographic backgrounds or syncing camera movements with video footage. The add-on works by letting you define vanishing points directly in the viewport through draggable perspective lines. These lines automatically adjust the camera's focal length in addition to position and orientation and you can do this in real time making it easier to create 3D scenes that align with 2D references. And the great thing, this can save you a lot of time, especially for those working in mixed media or architectural visualization. So, it supports multiple perspective modes, one point, two point, and even three point perspectives, which I think gives you flexibility depending on the kind of project you have at hand. 
The great thing is that you have tools like Move Along View, which also helps align geometry with the camera's view. And this in turn can streamline the workflow for both modeling and animation setups. And for anyone looking to connect 3D models with 2D perspectives, this add-on, generally speaking, makes the process more intuitive without adding unnecessary complexity to the process. Now, if you are a sci-fi guy, then plating generator and Preebles is a must-have, especially if you want something that looks cool but does not look a lot of time to make. This add-on, in a nutshell, automates the creation of intricate paneling and scattered Greebles, which are those small, often mechanical details on both flat and curved surfaces. It can save you a ton of time when you need a lot of surface details. First of all, the customizability is great. You can adjust parameters like plate size, groove depth, and randomness to match your design needs. It even lets you import your own Greebles, so you are not stuck with the default library. And I find it especially useful for concept art or background models, and even background environments, where detailed services really help to sell the realism of the whole thing. Again, still with sci-fi stuff, we have configurable dynamic jet. This one is an old add-on, but it is still useful and it is up to date with the other add-ons. So, if you need a tool that generates a base jet shape, complete with mirror geometry and subdivision modifiers, you can dive straight into detailing without the tedious setup process. The add-on allows you to customize almost every aspect of the jet's design. You have parameters like nose width, cockpit height, wingspan, in addition to engine count, and all of these are adjustable through a simple interface. For example, you can modify the tail fins, adjust the wing angles, or even create asymmetrical designs by tweaking the subdivision levels. This level of control makes it easy to experiment with different concepts quickly, which is a good thing. What's especially appealing is how it integrates modifiers like mirror and other modifiers right out of the gate. This means your jet already has a clean, symmetrical base when you start working on it, which can save you some time. And once you finalize your main shape, you can move to the edit mode to add intricate details like grills, panels, and even use additional tools like plating generator that we have mentioned before to create surface patterns. And for turning curves into meshes, I suggest you take a look at this add-on called Curves to Mesh, which is really popular. Basically what it does, it transforms Bayesian curves into editable meshes, which is helpful for creating clean, quad-based surfaces. And it is especially useful when you are working on mechanical parts or architectural elements. The thing that can make it a nice addition to your workflow is its real-time preview. You can adjust the curves and immediately see how the mesh is changing, which makes refining your designs so much easier. So, if you're comfortable with curves, but you want to take your modeling a step further, this tool might give you the opportunity to do so. Because its control is precise, it has clean geometry, and it offers a nice way to transition from artistic flexibility to technical accuracy to a certain extent. This next one is important. When you are stuck with a certain idea and you don't have something in mind, Shape Generator can offer you some ideas, and it can work as a lifesaver. So, it randomly generates 3D meshes based on adjustable parameters, like extrusion and rotation, which is great for sci-fi props, abstract objects, or just quick concept art. The randomness is balanced with enough control to make sure things don't overlap or get too messy. You can tweak the settings to match the level of detail you need, and I think it is handy for prototyping or filling out scenes when time is tight. Some of the shapes it generates might need a little bit of tweaking, but that's the fun part. It is a tool for exploration and to save yourself some time. For manipulating shapes further, you can take a look at Fit Lattice, which simplifies the process of adding lattice deformers. Setting up lattice cages manually can be a pain, but this tool makes it much more easier and quicker. And you can do that actually in just a couple of clicks, because simply, it automatically fits a lattice around your selected object and you can modify whatever you want. It is versatile enough for single objects or multiple ones, by the way, and you can easily customize subdivisions and rotations, and it seems to work on the edit mode as well as to deform specific parts. 
I find it useful for organic shapes or when you have grouped objects that need uniform deformation. It is not the most glamorous tool, but it is practical for anyone who works with lattice deformers on a regular basis. Also, one of my favorite add-ons from this developer is the Shipwright. This can be actually a creative tool for building spaceships and other intricate designs, since it combines features like plating generator and shape generator to make the process of creating detailed and layered designs much easier. One of its best features is the iterator, which generates multiple variations of your designs automatically. This is great for concept art or game development, where you need to explore different designs options quickly. It is not limited to just spaceships, so anything from vehicles to abstract designs can benefit from this tool. The learning curve might take a little bit to get used to it, but the creative possibilities are worth your time for anyone working on sci-fi design or concept design or anything that is quick but can look cool. And for any detailed surface textures, I recommend using Mesh Materializer, which lets you project one object onto another using UV maps. It is useful for adding small details like patterns, logos, or embossed elements to your models. The non-destructive workflow is what really sets it apart. You can adjust projections in real time, move the source object around, and see the changes without altering the base geometry. This makes it a great tool for adding fine details to models without disrupting the underlying structure. And I think it is especially useful for projects where accuracy in surface detailing is important, like applying decals to vehicles or embossing textures into materials. When working with curved surfaces, Flowify makes aligning objects or patterns, especially to cylindrical or irregular shapes, much easier. This tool is useful for tasks like wrapping tags or patterns around pipes, barrels, or other rounded elements, and it is adaptable, allowing you to switch between flat and cylindrical mapping modes depending on your needs. And I find it particularly useful when working with architectural designs or any project that involves curved forms, which can make it a nice addition to your workflow. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, in the collection of Mark King's North, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.